I wonder which one that should be. Hello friends, welcome back to Walter Limited. I'm James. A lot has been made of the switch for CMFs from bags to boxes. And don't get me wrong, I don't like the boxes. But since we're stuck with them for now, I decided to try out a couple of different techniques to see if I could find the CMFs that I want. So, I ordered a couple of cases. For these three techniques, I thought I'd start using a fresh case to pick based on location in the case. Using a scale, seeing if we could check the weight of the different minifigs and accurately come up with the ones that we wanted. And third, using this micro cam to try and see inside the box without damaging the box. And maybe a bonus if I have the large QR codes in these boxes, checking those QR codes to see if I can scan them and get them to tell me what's inside. Go ahead and let me know if you have any other techniques for finding CMFs in these new boxes. We'll see how it goes. Let's get it open first. All right, so what I have here, as you can see, Two fresh cases of series 25 collectible minifigures. So I'm going to set one of them aside and the other one we are going to pop open and I'm going to try and use the three different techniques to see what I get out of this box. There we go. That is a full open case. All right, now first things first, I know that a lot of people try and do location summaries, and that's all well and good, but I'm not going to try and do that here. What I'm going to try and do is, yes, I will use location as a factor, but not to look for specific figs. What I'm looking for is to see if I can find one full set using each of these techniques. So the first thing that we're going to do is notice how they're grouped. The machines are going to drop in three of one kind, and then three of another kind, and then three of another. They're going to do that first, of course, on the bottom level, and then on the top level. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull one from each of those sets of three on the top level. Set them aside in the same order. We'll get back to those in a minute. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So this is the top level. And here are two, four, six from the bottom level. So then we're going to set this back on top, and hopefully that will maintain everything in the same positions. If you're looking at the front of the package, this is top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And now I'm going to go through and start opening them one at a time. Just seeing if by picking the 12 different locations in the box if I get 12 different figures. To start with, there is a Triceratops. Next, we have the Train Kid. We have the Dog Groomer. Top right side going front to back, Dog Groomer, Train Kid, Triceratops. So this is the top left now. Our plan already did not work. That is a Triceratops. Okay, so we've got we've got one false start here, but we have fitness trainer in the middle. We've got the noir detective. One false start so far with that uh, Triceratops. So on the bottom level now, that is a harpy. So bottom right, center three is where the goat herd was. And last one on the bottom, the barbarian. Front to back for bottom left. The athlete there. Followed by, oh, we have a second goat herd. I'm not upset with an extra goat herd. And a second barbarian. Wow, that's interesting. Was not expecting that. All right, so that first method did not work to get me a full set. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of 12. Nine out of 12 is not a terrible draw, but definitely not the accuracy I was hoping for. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're here. It really helps out the channel. The next method that I'm going to try 
We've got our scale, we've got it set to grams. This should gives, give us accuracy to hundredths of a gram. So I've got Jay's brick blog, I've got his weight guide pulled up. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna try and uh, find a full set using the weights. There's top right, there's top left, there's bottom left, and there is bottom right. So according to Jay's brick blog, based on our previous pick, this should be the athlete. Jay's brick blog gives us a 17.39 gram weight for this one. The barbarian is 17.04. Okay, 17.04 grams. And it is the athlete. So you saw we had 17.04 grams, right? That weight was not incredibly accurate. And as, as we know, there can be some pretty big differences based on the amount of glue that's used to hold this shut. The thickness of the cardboard can vary. Um, I haven't looked closely to see if we had... So we do have two of the metals, or is extra, and so it could change the weight. You know, there's all kinds of variables here. So the... The weight is hard. Now next up, I'm kind of shooting in the dark because I got a goat herd on both sides. A 17.51. That could be a Triceratops. That could be a Gamer Girl. That could be a Mushroom. That could be an Athlete. That could be a Barbarian. A Trainer. All of those are within a half a gram of this weight. The closest ones are either the Trainer or the Gamer Girl. So... Let's see what this one is. This is bottom center, 17 and a half grams. So we think it is potentially the gamer girl. We haven't seen that one yet. And it is the gamer girl. Her, her listing is 17.71 on Jay's guide. And then the last one on, on the bottom again, we're, we've got a bit of a wild card. We still haven't seen mushroom or Batlord. Let's see what this one comes up as weight-wise. 19.39. Only thing within a half gram of 19.39 is the Batlord. He's at 19.64. So let's see if this is indeed the Batlord. That is the Batlord. Okay. Again, on the bottom left, to repeat, we have the Athlete, the Gamer Girl, and the Bat Lord. Bottom right, bottom right in the back, gives us 19.37. The only thing within a half gram of that is the Bat Lord. So it could potentially have a second Bat Lord here. Yep, we have a second Bat Lord. Okay, so that's evened us out actually on Bat Lords and Barbarians. They were apparently interleaved there in the back. 16.65. That does not look like it's going to be the goat herd, which is 20 even is what it says. Man, I don't have anything on this list that is that low. The closest ones are Barbarian, Trainer, Athlete at 17.39. See what we have there in the back. And that is a third Barbarian. So we have found three Barbarians so far. And the only thing we're missing is the Mushroom. We got 17.71, which is dead on for the Gamer Girl. Slightly under what we have on Jay's Guide for the Triceratops. And a little bit under, about a quarter of a gram under the Harpy. Let's see what we got inside. Okay, so we have another Harpy. Front to back here, again, we have Harpy, Barbarian, and Batlord. All right, top right. Okay, we have 17.59. The Triceratops, and that's fairly close to the Triceratops. At that weight could also be Gamer Girl, Athlete, Trainer. This is why the weights is really hard because minifigs weigh generally close to the same thing. Ah, oh, we finally got the mushroom, 17.88. And we got a double there before, right? We got two Triceratopses. All right, next up, 21.32. This is the heaviest fig in the group by far. Even though it's under the 21.72 that, uh, that Jay weighed his at, yeah, I was fairly certain that was going to be the train because 
it is way heavier than everything else. 18.67 is her weight on Jay's guide. We've got 18.33, and again, it's, it would be really easy for the weights to vary that much just based on the thickness of the cardboard or the amount of glue used. And there we do have the dog groomer. On that top right, in the front we have the dog groomer, middle we have the train kid, back we have the mushroom. We do now have a full set, but it has taken us 21 draws to get there. So top left, this is the back position, and we have 17.49, which again is in range of one, two, three, four, five, six. Fully half of the wave is within a, a half gram. Sorry, I said half ounce before, half gram. Okay, we have another mushroom. So it looks like the mushroom or the triceratops is in that back position, middle position. We're coming in at 17 flat, and so that is within a quarter of a gram of what the trainer would weigh. So let's, let's see what we got here. All right, there we go. Another trainer. Last one, we had Noir Detective here. 18.49 is what Jay has it listed at, as it seems like my weights have been fairly consistent about a quarter of a gram under what Jay was coming up with. This should be a Noir Detective, and if we use that quarter of a gram, that puts a spot on the Noir Detective. And it is, in fact, the Noir Detective. My favorite reference in this entire set, even though I love the goat, is this red herring. There we have all 12. And that's the distribution of those codes next to the Q QR code on the bottom. Now I'm going to try testing out that bonus feature since I have large QR codes on these ones. All right, so we've got the camera inside the box and we can see one portion of it. That looks like the dog groomer to me. Before we got to this point, we had to work a lot to get the pamphlet out of the way. It's not as, not as easy to maneuver around the paper as you might think. So again, we're, we're just popping that top corner of the box open enough to get this camera inside. But the problem is, A, it's difficult. Yep, that's a dog groomer again. There's the scissors right there. But... In reality, in order to get this size camera in there, you still have got to break a corner, which means that somebody else is just going to come along and shred it open, I think. The end game is that there is no great way to find what you're looking for with boxes. All right, so in the end, in that first case, I ended up with three of each figure, but very inconsistent as far as location or the codes that are printed on the bottom of the box at this point it really seems like the most dependable technique to find the collectible minifig that you really want is to either buy the whole case yourself or to split a case with friends uh, at this point i've decided just to pick up a case and then trade with my friends in the lug to see if i can get more of the ones that I want and fewer of the ones that I don't. Go ahead and let me know if you have any techniques for finding the collectible minifigures in these boxes because right now, there really is no good way to do it. What's going on, Peggy? What's the problem? You go up there with Van. Go take care of Van. Go get it. Go take care of Van. Hello. Hello. Hello, good girl. I want one of the new ones. Well, give me a minute, I'm recording a video about them, and then we can look and see which one you want.